if you are still contracted with insurances and you just want to look at how can I reduce this write-off percentage, there's a couple of things we want to look at. And one is elective adjustments. And the other is if you do have a membership plan, what are the adjustments that are happening and the write-offs that are happening for that membership plan? So step one, when we're looking at elective adjustments, countermeasure to jump right into is looking at what adjustment types you have set up with your practice management software and then making sure that they are specific enough that they're accounting for all of the different ways in which you give away your dentistry and your time. And there's nothing wrong with doing that, but it, there is something wrong with not knowing what you're giving away. And so I usually encourage, uh, or I'll see in practices, professional courtesy. So you'll have an insurance write-off and then everything else is a professional courtesy.